I was at the Trader Joe's at 14th Street and 3rd Avenue, and I was at the end of one of the two very long lines that snake up to the cashier stations. And I was mellow from my yoga from old, for old man class, and feeling extra good because I was seven for seven on getting everything on my list. Now, it was 8.25 p.m. If I'm reasonably lucky, I could pay up by 8.35 in time to run to Union Square, and if the train guards smile at me, and then Uptown Express 4 or 5 will whisk me to Grand Central Station in time to sprint up the stairs and then to hustle through that magnificent long rotunda to gate 30 for the 8.52 for the ride to Northern Westchester. Well, the line wasn't moving as fast as I had hoped, and I was getting a little antsy. The party is at 9 o'clock at 85 Fifth Avenue, and I'm going to take a quick shower before I go. A young voice eagerly explained right behind me. Why? It's 2013, and we all have to ignore information that we don't seek. <laughs> The party is at 9 o'clock at 85 Fifth Avenue, and I'm going to take a quick shower before I go. It was repeated three more times. Oh, no wonder the line's not moving. My concentration is being interrupted. The party is at... I turned, instinctively turned around to give her a New York look. <laughs> we weren't prepared for each other. On a scale of one to ten, I would have rated this golden blonde, diamond blue eyed, full ruby lit young glass about an eleven. An eleven thousand, that is. Now, any hopes of this being my Jean Paul Belmondo moment? You know that. French New Wave actor of the 60s, where a beat up, iconic mug was somehow irresistible, was quickly dashed. It was more like she had just seen the male Medusa. <laughs> but she did manage to lower her cell phone. I should have settled for mission accomplished, but I had a notice for New York University t shirt, and that got me going. You know? NYU is the 21st century version of the blob. Instead of people, it devours whole neighborhoods. You now have housing as far north as 23rd Street, a blank stare. I decided to further broaden her knowledge. You know, the blob was Steve McQueen's first starring movie. No reaction. You know, the ending line uttered by Steve McQueen is a quintessential statement on the environment. Again, nothing. Would you like to know what it was? I thought I detected a slight nod of appeasement. I bet you would. You know what? I'm going to go to the Barnes & Noble on 17th Street and purchase a copy of the video and bring it to the party. Because I know the time and place. <laughs> you know, I'm even going to share my goodies. I've got rosemary ham, light Yarlsberg cheese, guacamole, flaxseed chips, chocolate-covered cranberries, and regular and decaf tins of Trader Joe's Best Coffee. She reacted like I wanted to take that shower with her. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm a bubble bath kind of guy if there ever was one. <laughs> I glanced over my left shoulder. A miracle had occurred. There was a good 40 feet of open space to the next customer. I hustled to fill in the gap. I glanced over my right shoulder. For some strange reason, my newfound protege neglected to follow me. I ran back to him laughing. I was only kidding. I do predict in the future you'll be texting more. She nodded ahead with relief. 
The story has a happy ending. I made the 852 with two minutes to spare. For those of you born too late, the blob came to Earth via a meteorite. And it's proven unstoppable. It's gotten huge with the blood in the body of its victims. By accident, young Steve McQueen discovers its one weakness. It can't stand the cold. So he rallies all the rebellious teenagers to work with the uh, police, the firemen, and the civil defense figure, uh, officials at that time to get all the fire extinguishers. And they stand shoulder to shoulder and they freeze this thing. At the end of the movie, the police chief comes over to Steve and says, I convinced the government to send the Globemaster cargo plane to take this thing to the army. I think we're safe now. Remember, it was 1958. Steve says, we're safe as long as the Arctic stays cold. <laughs> <laughs>